VW back window, Beetle, Beetle back window, which is pretty difficult, probably about an eight or so as far as the difficultness. Glove, we're gonna put just a tiny bit of powder, about so much. Yep. Pass the glass, and just actually just work that powder throughout the whole glass. Very little bit of powder needed, only where you, where you can actually just see a little bit of a haze or the actual powder throughout the glass. Now we're going to put a nice little wet stripe from one end to the other. And that's just a little bit of wet towel. Just a wet towel. Don't have to squeeze. You don't want the water running yep. into the actual Just to make areas. the film. Just the film tack on. Stick. Yep. See you guys later. All right, Glenn. Okay, good. We'll see you later, guys. All right, guys. See you, mate. Have a safe trip back. Thanks, see buddy. You year. Yeah, yeah, see you next year. <laughs> Make sure all edges are covering. You actually leave your edges long. These are going to actually be utilized later on, so you want to leave it long. Okay, that was going to be my question because a lot of blacks are going to ask, why, yeah. why have you got so much film there? I want to really tuck the center. Pull on it. how much that actually makes a difference to to do that you know you can cut the excess off but you want to leave it longer on top the, and the, bottom okay. sides or you can actually trim it down This area here, we're going to tack it down or wet it. And this film, that's HP Supreme 22, right? Yes. Okay. HP Supreme 22, yes. So we're doing a dry shrink method with the only areas being wet, center, sides, and the only reason for that was to tack it down. Okay. Tack the centers, tack the sides. The rest of the film is actually very loose, very flow. Movable. Movable, yep. yes. This way you say that is um, don't be shy to use a bit more heat. Yes, yeah, so you you want it pretty hot. Yeah. I actually have this set at a thousand degrees, which I'm yeah. not sure what it would be. So you, were you just pulling on the bottom of the film when you were heating, heating that? Yeah. Then? Right now I just pulled yeah. away. It started tacking there, so I just pulled it back out so it wouldn't crease. Okay. You want to keep 
as much as you could with just this motion without having to do anything else other than heat the film. When you get to this area here, of course it's where the more curvature to the glass. Mm -hmm. So this is where I actually have a different technique where you actually pull and heat and shrink all at the same time. And, and this is the technique you use for um, extremely, extremely curved, curved glass. Windows. Yep, okay. Correct. You actually are pulling the film away from the glass itself. So you're actually picking up pulling to pull it, it pulling, pulling it, it away, out, heating it. Yeah. You can actually see it shrink, and then you're actually letting it collapse back onto the glass. Okay. Once you let it collapse back on the glass, you can see that that area has been shrunk, and you can move on to the other area that needs the shrinking. Mm -hmm. And when you do this, the, when you when you're pulling on it, it doesn't doesn't hurt the clarity of the film or anything like that. No. Okay. The film is very sensitive when you're doing this. You you got to be yep. careful. But you can feel it when you when you're pulling on it. Well, you can actually see more the heating, the actual shrinking, than you can actually feeling it. Mm. But yes, you're actually stretching it. Yep. In a sense. This film can be difficult to shrink on an extremely curved window, so you really got to be careful and baby it, you know. Yep. So, but, I mean, as you can see, it, it can be done, and, you know, beetle back window is something that most people do have problems mm. with. It doesn't matter uh, which film <laughs> yes. they're using.
going to move in a bit closer so I can see how close you got the heat gun there. Probably. 